you know? <laughs> so the optimal workout times, you want to aim for 30 minutes a day. That's like the amount of time. You, you could break that up into 10 minutes at a time. You could do it all at one time. And then that's like good sustainability. Anything above that, that's gains. So it's something to think about. But speaking of gains, uh, DNA uh, actually in a better... So he entered items racket last time. And I forget where he placed. I think it was top eight. Uh, didn't really... You know, didn't crack into the top cusp though, but now coming the winner's side of grand finals and uh in the same position he was last time, loser side of grand finals, did reset last time but still ended up in second, so we'll see if he could break that. I mean he is playing against a character that he can fight now. You know, before he was playing against Pac-Man, you know oh Pac-Man who was already able to spawn his own items, create his own walls, make it really hard to approach, especially with the you know extra input delay that you have from offline smashes. He launches that PK fire out of the park. Did you see that one? Yeah man he yeah. is yeah. Both these guys oh, using to the, the bats. Sound of uproar and applause. Oh, Dude he's reflecting everyone with that. <laughs> Look at this. He's like timing it oh. so well. You gotta beat Ness at his own game. Like, if Ness is bringing a bat to the party, you kind of bring your own. Yeah, clearly. Oh my god. And again? Oh no. He's going for it. That time. And he does actually pick up the back shield with that back air as well. So now he can actually turn around and avoid the bat this time around, which I don't believe breaks the back shield, if I'm not mistaken. No, it doesn't. So. He should be fine. It does? It does oh, not. Oh, it does not. It does oh, not. okay. Why does it feel like uh, always manages to pick up a back shield? It spawns in pretty frequently, my dude. It's, like, it's guess, kind yeah. of like an awareness. And the thing is, is it's a really good item to have because you can play around it. Like, it's really easy to sort of just, if you have a good command over, over your, oh my god, well played. Uh, but if you have a good command over your character's movement, it's really easy to just kind of turn your back every couple seconds to avoid danger. Okay. That's where Ooh. tech like uh, reverse area rushing and all of that comes into play, even if it's such a, even in an item bracket. Dude, I love how DNA is using the baseball bat. I don't know if you guys saw it there. He actually, off the level, he used it to... <gasps> oh my god. That it was got swallowed up. Was, dude, and he barely almost made that too. And Falco has the highest jump in the game. If he was playing almost any other character. I don't think he actually would have made that. I love DNA's, like, just raw desire to chase after certain uh, players. Even when he's, like, on... Even when he's setting for, like, a ledge trapping situation, He's going for like bouncing items or using the orb club to spawn the uh, to spawn the tornado. That bullet bill for chasing up super high, and he's gotten every single materia thus far, showing his sheer dominance over the entire stage. Yeah, he's actually playing very aggressively, to say the least. He's pressing a lot of buttons in uh, he's pressing a lot of buttons in us face right now. He's doing a good job, you know, oh. like as that poet smash takes the stock. He's doing a good job with item utilization. I mean, he used the bat to recover before. Just throwing it back onto the stage and all the way across the stage to actually hit, uh, to make his way back. You know, he's just you taking such good utilization of the bat. But right now, the question is, is he going to go for the stock first, probably? Or is he just going to burn his final smash? And it's oh like it might be the first. Especially since he killed himself. Just yeah. making uh, making DNA's life a lot easier. Well, no, that now, was the blue shell. He... Oh, never mind. It was. Uh... He just, it looks like he wasn't ready to really react to it, just kind of hit him. Usually pretty reactable, but I guess there was a lot of other stuff going on. Okay, there we go. Alright, but the materia is now in the hands of, uh, oh, I was going to say, it's in the hands of, uh, but unfortunately for him, using his, uh, final smash a little too far away. This is so trippy. It's the background of the timer, wow. but the effect of the materia is still coming in, so you don't get to see Midgar until just now. Ooh, narrowly avoiding disaster. That may have done it. But he heals so much from the explosion right there, man. With the PSI magnet. And we've just been seeing so much of that from Oh today, man. Where it's is that just, star? It's such a tide turner. That is way up there. He threw it up, so it's way high. Oh, God. That's scary. Oh, black hole. Oh, but he catches it off of the scoop off the ground. That was so clutch. DNA could have lost the whole game right there if he didn't if he didn't pick that up. Oh my god. There. Yo! Yo. Oh I dude, oh I think my, again? that star was gone, but I swear No! Holy oh crap. my god, it's so infuriating. Dude. <laughs> It's How so many? infuriating, man. I, I would, uh, uh, dude, just, DNA's got to be upset about that's that That's just one. game one of us attempt to reset this bracket. And it was kind of messy, dude. Uh, I feel like DNA was trying to bring him up to that original star before with the 
with the screw attack. Uh, that, that's what I think initially it was doing. That was almost very big brain, but instead ends up dying to an explosion. That's why that PK magnet is such a... It, it, it makes Ness so viable in items. It's kind of broken almost. Honestly, yeah, and I think I, it's a big reason why these guys are electing to choose Ness here. I mean, uh, does main the character as well, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I've seen yeah. him go uh, Ness in uh, competitive brackets as well. But the point is, you know, like that PSI magnet just puts out a shield for any, you know, energy or explosive based items. So, you know, I mean, as long as he's not close enough to the point where the actual explosion will hit, you know, like the flames or the explosion or I believe what does the... Uh, the healing, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong about that, but point is, you know, it's just such a good option for Ness to be able to put out, and it just baits you into approaching him, too. If you think, oh, he's in the PSI Magnet right now. His is not like Lucas. His does not have a hitbox, and it's not only in front of him. So I can run up and hit him for this or grab him for it. And then you forget he's just waiting to heal from an explosion there, and then you forget the explosion is there, and that's how you die. And speaking of dying, oh, the water! The stage actually coming up, saving him, and then the perfect bullet build placement. That was smart. There was nowhere else he could go off the recovery right there. Yeah, full option coverage thanks to just clever, clever item placement and an adaptation to the sudden change in uh, weather, I'll say. Yeah. And now he's got the Tanuki, uh, he's got the Tanuki leaf out here, and, uh, Falco's got some pretty good aerials, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him start floating like Peach and just spamming neutral air, but I, we haven't really seen him do anything like that yet. In fact, the leaf is gone, now we got Ness out here for it, stalling himself in the air a little bit to make sure he can get the PAL block. Dude, oh my god, watching, uh, he's just so into it, man. I, I really feel like I'm watching a different game when I'm watching, uh, play, like, in these casual item brackets. Like, I feel like I'm watching standard Smash, but, like, this guy just knows like a whole different tech that we don't you know that's making him really understand how to utilize these items like right there he had the tanuki leaf he just stalled himself in the air with it to ensure he could grab another item which is what led him to taking uh dna stock can't do that in competitive smash he's just going for these drag down upwards trying to set up into some form of kill Dude. already threw down three stocks to one and getting up crazy 50 percent off of that he Boy, got the material the too man is the bomb this game might be over yeah, this is looking. Yeah. Drop it, drop oh, it, no. drop it. Yeah, there we go. Drop it. You can do it. You he can do that. People he forget. Dodged out of it. No. Oh, no, dude, no. Come on. You have wings. You have wings, my dude. You're a bird. He double jumped and bonked his head. You ever think Falco's jacket just holds him back from flying? You think if he just took it off, he would be a top tier? Yeah, yeah you think, really right? Spread his wings. Yeah, really. Yeah. Kinda... Kind of ruins his uh, the ability to fly. You're right. So. I just wanna fly. Never, 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 never. Three. I just wanna fly. So, what do you think? Are we going back to Midgar? Are we going to a little change? I've, I have a feeling we're going uh, back to Midgar. But... If he lets him go to okay. Mementos, yeah. we're gonna go to Mementos. Otherwise, I don't know. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say gamer. Maybe? I feel like Gamer is playing more into uh, Uz's hands than it is playing into DNA's hands. DNA's quote-unquote comfort pick was Midgar for a couple of these sets throughout Winners. Uh, and of course he is a fan of Mementos, as every reasonable player should be, uh, in a casual format. However, hmm, I don't know what stage would really... Maybe you see a Mario Maker here and try and... Like, utilize some of the walls, but then you don't want to give Ness the ability to infinite. Hmm. I guess, man, I don't know. I forget the whole stage list. I mean, Gamer is a counter pick, right? No, Gamer is a, a neutral. It is? Wow. Didn't realize. Oh, the, the counter picks are WarioWare, uh, Arena Pharaoh, uh, Kalos. Maybe you see Kalos here. I, you know the slant. The slant could. Uh, the slant on mementos could help, but the thing is, like, it could help him like be with avoiding PK fire. But the thing is, Falco is just gonna take so much longer to kill Ness than I feel like Ness would kill Falco there. You know, especially since like Ness has the PSI magnet to be able to negate that explosive damage when he has to. I so, agree. Yeah. So it's I, that that's that stage might be a little bit of a wild card on the part of DNA if he decided to go there, which we will find out momentarily as he switches to the Black Falco. Yeah, I just know Over DNA likes Mementos, uh, not so much of a Yo, oh, good call. I'm, I'm the, the biggest brained individual yeah, let's go. that has ever had big brains. Okay. A correct call from the, from the pardon the tunist. 
Ooh, but and next time you see me, you owe me a handshake. Alright, I... I verbally handshake you and owe you a handshake. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway. Oh, we got a big bird out big here. Falco. Shout to P Shadows to PBS kids! Oh this my is, god! This is the first orientation of gamer that we've seen with a hard platform. Yeah, it's actually kind of wild, right? That we've seen this stage like so many times at this <gasps> point. This is the. <gasps> oh my god, that Only almost did it. The reflector. Yo, get those. Yes, I knew why he was doing you, that. Why? I knew he was doing that. Why? That's Don't so be doing free. That. that is so free for, for Ness. All of that work that you just put into gaining, uh, oh. building up a percent lead is now gone and you're down stuff. Yeah, now he's going to get freaking bottom of Hyrule Temple combo underneath the hard platform Look right out, there. I'm sorry, but DNA 100% deserves to lose that stock. 100%. Like, I, what are you doing when your Ness is right there in front of you, running towards four bombs? Yeah. I, have you learned nothing? How I mean, many times do you have to get hit by that to know? Maybe he just didn't register oh, that. Oh, yeah, oh, look at oh that. Look how God. free that is. Are you kidding me? The bond someone... spawns. Dude, the Smash Gods up there are smiling down on our boy oh right now. That was the luckiest thing. Because a forward smash could have potentially not even killed him. Oh, God, Probably would have. Oh, my. Yo, unplug your controller. Unplug your controller, my oh, dude. You just got man. rocked. He's <laughs> literally not allowed to play that game. Oh, dude, man. Dude, that whole match was a clip. Oh, God. Oh. And that's so rude. Like, Ness holding the bat up. Like, he's pointing to where... He's pointing to where DNA went. Dude. Can I get like, some... That's where you died. Can I get some Fs in chat? Dude, uh, <laughs> is just getting warmed up, apparently. Uh, this is what oh. happened against Komar, too. And then things got kind of hairy towards the end. But, I don't know. Uh, it really looks so dominant right now. Um, DNA, though, is on the winner side. Was on the winner side. Not anymore. So, you know, he's here with good reason. But, yeah, this entire match uh, summed up in, in three clips, really. That and was such a good start to the clip for DNA, one. too. And then all gone. And Dude, then I, he, very similarly, there's number literally, two. Literally. That's tragic. And that second clip was tragic. Yeah, he was number three. That was just... It was so unfair. That's a really good final smash. He killed him at zero. It started out at zero from when he got that. I like, I at that bomb bomb spawning at right where he was buried. It could have spawned, literally anywhere, anywhere on the level. It could have spawned. It spawned right next to him, right, right as he became immobile against Ness, the character who can absorb the damage as well as trigger the hitbox of it to kill you. That I don't know what to say. I mean, it was a very big brain play, but I don't know what else to say besides that was just straight up not fair. Like, he just got destroyed. It's like if Peach pulled a Saturn, broke your shield with it, and then immediately pulled a bomb on next pull. Basically. Like it's, ju it's just like, um, you got it, dude. Like, <laughs> I can't beat this. <laughs> you got it, dude. Shout out to the Olsen twins. <laughs> All right, let's yeah, see what a, the pick is. That's a reference I just made. Yeah, that's a deep huh. cut. It's a, it's a deep cut for you sure. You made a really deep cut. Hey! Um... Where do you think we're going, Mementos? Well, considering if I say if we go out on a limb here, they do, they appear to go to whatever that stage is. I'm going to say we're going to go out on a limb here, and we're actually going to go back to Midgar. You might Midgar be right. has been uh, DNA's neutral, but and I assume us banned Mementos, or else we probably would have seen it. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry for that. I accidentally hit my mic stand. You're good. Uh, I'm just speculating based off of I know DNA likes Midgar and... Uh, Midgar and Mementos, those are, the only, those are the main two stages I've seen him pick. Gamer was the first time I've seen him go to any stage that wasn't hit. Any stage that he could choose that wasn't one of those two. It's, uh, so, wanna, I do want to remind people while we're sitting here waiting. Uh, this is still, singles is still open. And the entrance have been going up. I think we're at 80 people for singles now. So if you're looking to get your fix in tonight, you definitely can. There's some money uh, on the line. So feel free to enter. It's all free. Yeah, it's not free as in, uh, you know, like, oh, it's free. Like, you know, I'm going to win this easy. It's More just so, like... it's free in terms of the, the, the entry. That's what Yo, Arena for Row, finally. I love this stage. It is a really good stage. I'm glad we're seeing it at least once today. Wait, isn't this a counterfeit? Yep. It's the first game of the set. That can't work. 
fix yet. They could they could a gentleman to it. You know, fair. Gentleman's yeah, clause can, is a thing. Even in a competitive environment, like you can go to like non-legal. Actually, I'm not even sure if that's true actually, but you you can go to any stage you want if you gentleman to it. But you know, nobody ever wants to do that because it's like a competitive environment. You know, they don't want stage hazards. It yeah, it depends on the on the rule set. Some I know some majors allow for gentleman clause to any stage. Gentlemen's cost to legal stages or no gentlemen's. Yeah. Also the speaking inklings, of, by the way. Yeah. Speaking of the stage, is that uh hammer takes the stock. I've always loved stages that have a literal audience. Yeah, I agree. I always with thought that. that was cool. Like it's always hype. Like you, you know, you play Thousand Year Door, and it's not like the fact that it's like, you know, the battle of the battles in that game is like a stage you're putting on a show, and apparently it's that way in uh what you call it, um uh Origami King too, which I'm super hype about. Yeah, that's always like part of the charm and part of the added, added a atmosphere. It's like you're putting on a like a puppet show of paper, or, you know, a puppet show, like a paper mache like show. It's a, it's supposed yeah. to be that level of like exciting and intense. But... Dude, and it helps with the immersion so much. You play Mario Kart 8, you know, you go to Mount Wario, and when you're gliding down like the final part of that level, like the crowd starts cheering, and you're like, yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the best at this game. Yeah, and what a track for oh, Mario Kart 8's Nana. rainbow. Yeah, that's good. Not gonna it's kill not him dead. though. How lame. But does get a solid. <laughs> does get a solid. Uh, 100% now built up on. Uh, who is all pink and painted up and ready to die? But DNA can't seem to find that. that same yeah, if he got grabbed at that top oh, lap, that don't was let him heal. Don't let him that, heal. That was a right, handshake, I should go. say. There we go. Yeah, or, like, he, that booyah would have killed there so easily. And finally, he hit him out of the map. I didn't feel like that was up in the air forever. Uh, yeah, so he's got the bomb in hand. Yeah, just get rid of it. Don't give uh, an opportunity to heal. Otherwise, he's going to take it. It's just a shame. It's a shame to watch someone heal. And, like, if you rob and grab you with Nosferatu, you just get to watch him heal and be like, man, now I have to win neutral like, again. Or even, yeah, it's like, like when your opponent can heal and you can't. It's like this person's so much more mentally adjusted than I am. They can just heal themselves and I can't. There is a there's a solid wall there right in the middle, so Ness can infinite. Oh, DNA, be careful. Oh wait, no, DNA was the one who threw that pitfall, right? Yeah, I believe okay, so. Never mind. But I thought pitfalls were active for any player, regardless of who threw it. Nah, nah, just the one who threw uh just uh if you threw it it doesn't affect you. Ooh. Yeah. All right, DNA getting the game finally. Uh, it, when he needs it the most, really. This is this is a set that matters. So not able to absorb that one. Catches it right on right on the dome. There was a lot of like interesting counterplay to the PSI magnet. In the case of that last one, he was throwing the uh, star wand a lot more before the bomb ended up spawning. Uh, there was the second stock. There was the explosive box that uh, was landing on with PSI Magnet, but before it blew up, DNA just swings in with an up air, and the explosive box did the rest. <laughs> he swoops in, dude. He's the swooper. And Inkling can do that uh, arguably, a lot, well, arguably a lot better than Falco, because while Falco has the amazing jump capability, Inkling's ground speed and ground control can make it a lot better for just tiny disruptions that can mean big thing items uh, for me. Yeah, it's like, it kind of reminds me of Mario Kart again. Like, I know I keep like comparing it to Mario Kart, I apologize. But sometimes it's just that case where, you know, the items spawn in at the right times for you and then you just get run over by a lot of them. Like you just said, Ubel, it's like those little, sometimes it's like the tiny interactions, you know, that really make or break you in something like the items bracket that just, you know, one small thing just really causes you to just lose it all. Like, I mean, we saw, like, in the last set, you know, like, when we saw DNA, you know, just jump into those, jump into that pile of bombs. Like, he was bodying, he was bodying, uh, for the entirety of that stock, and then it all just turned around in the blink of an eye, because, you know, there were four bombs that spawned, and then DNA just ran into them while, uh, healed, so. A true yeah. reset of the game, and of a, any sort of mental awareness that the player had gained at that point. Mm-hmm. So we see the traditional fire. fire I love how the fire flower spawned. Oh. Like, fire one. 
Oh god. I, I, oh. I, I, do. I was like, is he gonna launch him up, man? It's like, is he gonna get him in the air in time and increase the chance of him dying here? And he does. Good stuff to DNA, man. That inkling counter pick is really working out for him so far. Dead? Yes. Wow. That is so strong. Yeah. That time not missing. So good stuff. Good stuff to, uh, uh, all that batting practice. Looks like it paid off. You don't miss. He didn't miss that time specifically. I mean, he did miss. Like, <laughs> not. But now, but now he don't miss. And no longer will he miss. Dude, I'm loving DNA's aggression, man. Whether it's the Falco or the Inkling, this guy's just out here and he's pressing buttons in the face of, uh, right Ooh. now it's working, man. Right it's there, he's got the ray gun back out. Parries the Nair on the way down and then gets him caught in the jab. Looking like he oh my, oh my god. Sword. That happens? Yeah. Every time, every time you see a legendary in the back of the stage transformation, it becomes the altered form of the stage. So normally, the steel layout uh, puts out a pool where you can get a metal coat, but since it's registeel, the swords will spin. I had no idea. I've literally never seen that happen. Yeah, you oh. always have to watch for the Pokemon in the back. That will prepare you for what the stage, is, what the layout is going to do for you. Wow. Oh, actual edge guarding. Oh, oh, be careful. Oh, yep, he's back into the hitbox. Thank God there was a wall there though, and not like a slant. You know that could have that could that had the potential. That Dude, be, we all know uh, it. We all know it. Oh no, he gave it to him. I was like, we all know what Oh wants. He just wants to absorb that bomb to you, and he got it. Oh, and has DNA just ever one seen thing. that move before? Look out for Seems that water. All right, this will be the waterfall transformation. Yeah, it's gonna come from le left to right, I think. No, right to left. Yeah. Squids like water, but I don't think they do when they're covered in paint. Oh, the soccer ball just blew them up. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. There you go, DNA up 2-0. Oh. This yeah, the bracket ink moves on here, jeez. Inkling's base attributes are proving, like, super effective in such a... Uh, at, in the adaptation from Falco to Falco to Inkling. Being able to be fast on the ground, the overall damage output of ink make, being able to make up for the healing that uh, is doing so much of it's n he never feels like he loses so much progress and has to do so much because ink lets you stack on 40 50 percent in the blink of an eye you know that might just be the name of the game Mooble. If we're being honest with ourselves, you know, it might just be the characters who can, you know, have that cheese factor and attack on damage that much quicker. And, you know, Falco has that in a, more of a competitive setting. But when it comes to items, you know, those long stringy combos really don't matter as much because different characters are going to have different combo breakers because of the items. They're going to have different moves because of the items like PSI Magnet. Ness can just heal so much because of that and just essentially negate explosive items because of that. Whereas Inkling, on the other hand, I feel like it's a lot better for a more casual environment, just because Inkling's mobility, I feel, is a lot better. You know, she can tack on damage still just as well by, uh, in this type of game mode, by grabbing the items quicker, you know, utilizing them better, moving around them better than Falco does, because, ironically, you know, despite Falco, uh, despite Falco being a bird, his airspeed is actually not that good. But, you know, funny enough, it's, uh, yeah. so we're in this game mode when it comes to, you know, needing to grab as many items as you can, you know, the damage stacks on in this game mode in a very different way. Like, it's from throwing items, it's from, like, shooting items at each other, you know, like, just having, like, ledge traps because of the items, whatever. It revolves all around the items. So when you have a character who thrives so much more just by getting raw damage off of his combos themselves in a mode that, you know, is going to have way more combo breakers, that's where Falco is really not going to shine as much. And it's part of why I think this Inkling counterpick is working out so much better for DNA. As you can see right here, one stock away from taking the entire bracket. Looking rather dominant in the process of doing so. Every single, like, everything just seems to work out for a character like Inkling, whether it be the addition of Roller that can catch a lot of the defensive options of Ness and help out with recovery as well. Like he can avoid edge guarding situations. He can avoid a lot of the random item drops come out of the way thanks to Inkling's higher airspeed and dimension. So much like. So much of the item game mode helps out England rather than detriments Falco's more competitive game. Oh, is this it? Nope. Wasn't able to detonate it in time. That's the slow bomb, my friend. He had no fire moves to really be able to detonate that one to make sure he would have been able to take the game. Oh, God, get out of there, up. man. 
him. He got caught in the pickup animation for the fire flower. It goes through shield anyway, but it might have been trying. He might have been trying to uh, spot dodge and time it, but it's hard to time something that is pretty slow like that. Well, it's a hell of a way to end a bracket, my friends. DNA yeah, is your Platinum Star Smash Season 6, Episode 2 Online Casual Bracket Items Champion! Yeah, dude, shout outs. Make sure you send me uh, your PayPal, please, and, and, I'll, and I'll hook it up a little bit later. So, yeah, that's for DNA awesome, cool winning. Uh, I think I already have a PayPal, but you could send me yours, too, anyways, just, just so I make sure I got the right one. But, yeah, so that's going to do it for now. Um, and singles doesn't start till 6.30. So what I'll probably do is I'm just going to turn off the stream and, like, come back later probably. But I will tell you that, uh, Bracky, you can still sign up. you got some time. You have approximately 45 minutes to sign up. So if you're interested or know anyone else who is, make sure you pass them that link or do it yourself. Because, uh, again, uh, free does not cost you anything. There is a little bit of a prize pool. It'll be a good time. But... In the meantime, that's it. I do want to thank Ubel for chilling with me the entire time. Natunist coming to the rescue towards the end. Uh, you guys are welcome back later if you want. I don't know what's going on quite yet with with uh, singles, but yeah. All right. Well, yeah. we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. There's definitely plenty more Platinum Star online action later. We have, like as Chris already said, you know, you can sign up for the bracket on smash.gg slash PSO. It's going to be streamed right here on M Master Hand Gaming starting at around 6.30. In the meantime, though, we're going to be taking a break, so don't touch that fire stick or that mouse. I mean, you can, actually. It's going to be like an hour and a half. Yeah. You, yeah, you can, yeah. can probably touch it, though, touch if it. you want to. Or you, you can, can touch it. Free. You can touch time. it so you can go to smash.gg slash PSO and check out Bracket and even sign up yourself. Yeah. So. Don't do that on your Fire Stick, though. That just sounds tedious. To yeah. Use a browser on a Fire Stick instead. Like, ugh, why, why would you do that? Sign up otherwise. But hey, cash prizes open to all players. You can come on in, and that's going to start in about an hour and a half. You still got plenty of time, though. I might be there. I might not be there. I'll probably be there. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But, uh, yeah, in the time being, we hope you enjoyed the items bracket. It's always a very fun show that we were able to put on. We'll see you uh, either next month or maybe the month after, depending on, you know, what's going to happen. Yeah, with we'll the see. We're, we're, we'll figure it all out. But, yeah, thanks, and we'll see you guys in a bit.